Hello and welcome to Shorts in Psychology. In this video, we'll be talking about self-concept. What is it and what are its components? We'll also explore how social media is used to validate self-concept. What makes you you? When asked this question, you might answer with, I'm a kind and gentle person, or I'm artistic, or I'm a good friend. These responses come from your internal sense of who you are and in psychology, we call this sense of self your self-concept. While your self-concept is developed early in life, it undergoes constant evaluation and adjustment throughout the lifespan. It is influenced by many forces, including our interaction with important people in our lives. At its most basic, self-concept is a collection of beliefs one holds about oneself and the responses of others. It is how we perceive our behaviours, abilities and unique characteristics. This includes how we view our personality traits such as being kind, extroverted or introverted. It also includes how you see your roles in life such as whether you feel that being a parent, sibling, friend and partner are important parts of your identity. Thirdly, hobbies and passions that are important to your sense of identity are also part of your self-concept such as being a musician, sports enthusiast, or belonging to a certain political party. How you feel about your interactions with the world, such as whether you feel that you are contributing to society, is also a part of your self-concept. As a result, self-concept plays a pivotal role in influencing behaviour, emotions, and interpersonal relationships. A healthy self-concept promotes well-being, while a negative one can lead to emotional and social challenges. The term schema refers to the cognitive structures we have to describe various categories of knowledge about the world. Self schemas are beliefs we have about ourselves and reflect how we expect ourselves to think, feel and act in particular settings or situations, as well as our overall perceptions of ourselves. Therefore, all our various self schemas combine and interact to form our self concept. There are many theories about what exactly self-concept is and how it develops, but generally theorists agree that on the broadest level, self-concept is multidimensional and is the overall idea we have about who we are, including cognitive and effective judgments about ourselves. Humanist psychologist Carl Rogers believed that self-concept is made up of three different parts. The ideal self is the person you want to be. This person has the attributes or qualities you are either working toward or want to possess. It's who you envision yourself to be if you were exactly as you wanted. Self-image refers to how you see yourself at this moment in time and believe others perceive you. Attributes like physical characteristics, personality traits and social roles all play a role in your self-image. The third and final component is self-esteem, also known as self-worth. Self-esteem refers to the extent to which we like, accept or approve of ourselves or how much we value ourselves. The word validation has multiple meanings, including in psychology. When used in reference to self-concept, validation means that an individual's feelings, thoughts and experiences are being recognised and accepted, either by the individual themselves or by external sources. So how do people try to gain this validation from external sources on social media? Social media has become a feature in our daily lives and therefore provides a convenient yet crucial platform to externally engage with self-presentation and seek validation of our self-concept. By carefully crafting their online presence, social media users can not only self-validate their self-concept, but also gain this validation from others through likes, comments and follow accounts. Users often create a particular online persona or identity that aligns with how they want to be perceived, including aspects of their self-image and their ideal self. This can involve portraying oneself as adventurous, intellectual, humorous or any other desired characteristics, often through the content shared, captions and engagement with others. People often seek positive feedback and affirmation from their online connections to bolster their self-esteem and social standing. Furthermore, when individuals post images related to their interests, hobbies or community affiliations, it can attract like-minded individuals and foster a sense of connection. 
This affirmation of shared values and interests can reinforce their self-concept as part of a particular group or community. Let's finish by applying this to a past exam question. The first question in the 2023 SACE exam asks students about this concept. The source material says, a team of researchers randomly recruited 50 active social media users for a study. The researchers observed the behaviour of the participants on social media for a period of one week. The results of this research demonstrated that when online, participants were more likely to engage in rude and aggressive behaviour, use offensive language and openly express their opinions. The participants also tended to share personal information more frequently online than they would in person. Using your knowledge of psychology, explain how the participants' behaviour on social media might validate their self-concept. Before you attempt the question, let's break it down in terms of important information contained in the scenario and what you're being asked to discuss. Let's start with a breakdown of what the question requires you to do. The lead-in verb that has been used is explain, so you need to give reasons to account for your answer. This is also a two-mark question, so we could break it down by saying that one mark is for a specific example of a behaviour on social media, and the other mark is for your reason or explanation of how this behaviour validates self-concept. If we're going to answer this question in the context of the research results, we need to identify the relevant information in the source material that's going to help us do that. This second paragraph that describes the online behaviour of participants is going to help us do this. So how do we use all of this information to formulate a good two mark answer? I would pick one behaviour from the results and relate this specifically to self-concept. For example, participants may share more personal information online, such as their achievements, successes and expertise, in order to express aspects of their self-image or ideal self. Receiving validation and social approval about this information will then increase their self-esteem. We could also answer this question using the part about participants openly expressing their opinions. Again, this can be related to the participants expressing their self-image or aspects of their ideal self, such as I am assertive or I'm knowledgeable and well informed about this topic. Receiving social approval for their comments and responses to others will validate this part of their self-concept and increase their self-esteem. We could keep writing model answers for other behaviours described in the scenario, but I think two responses is enough to give you a good idea of how to answer a question such as this one. However, if you have any other questions, feel free to post them below. And if you wish to validate my self-concept as a psychology teacher and content creator, please like and subscribe.